Morning, ladies and gents. New shave here today. First off, how are y'all doing today? Doing good? I'm doing good. Yeah. So, got a lot in this one. And if you already read the description, you're probably thinking, what? What? Huh? What? what? No. What? No. What? Well, yeah. We're doing a lot. We're doing some different stuff today. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to rock it out today. Hang on. First, though, I need some coffee. Rocking the Nirvana cup today. About, I'm drinking Don Francisco's vanilla nut without two fingers cream, no sugar. Ah. So, let's get into this today. Now, I'm on vacation. <laughs> now, yes, I'm on vacation first day. Got stuff to do. I was originally supposed to go with my fiance to Michigan with her because her friend. One of her best friends in Kalamazoo is getting married, and we couldn't find a uh, a babysitter basically for our animals. We got three dogs and one cat, so I stayed back. So <laughs> I don't trust anybody with animals, man. <laughs> so yep, daddy's here for the week. So I'm here with them, and yeah, I'm gonna do some stuff. I kind of wanna go see that it movie, and I need a new phone. I got the notification that I got an upgrade, and this one's starting to get all glitchy, like. It's starting to do weird stuff and it's only 32 gigabyte iphone 7 plus so i think i might get the 10 maybe look at the 10 and maybe get 64 gigabytes of storage because with the apps i need i actually need it so yeah <laughs> anyway <laughs> let's get into this today <sighs> oh yeah de razor we're going to be using today is now this one i got three but the one we're actually going to be using today is the Lady, what? Yes, the Lady Gillette 1971 R2, not R2-D2. Lady, whoa, ladies razor, whoa, dude, whoa, whoa, delete, delete, thumbs down, unsubscribe, no way, bro. Yes, we are using a ladies Gillette today, and this razor is amazing. Awesome vintage razor that Gillette did one time, got it right with the ladies with the long handle, and they never did it again. So, I think every man and woman, I think you guys should all have at least one of these in your shaved in, if you're a guy or not, or a girl, it don't matter. These are cool. <clears throat> and it inspired me to actually go out and get them, because I got all three. There's three, they're so pink. There's blue one. Now this one is my 1966 L1, pink one. Pink razor, dude, yeah. Maybe we'll use that around Valentine's Day. Could use it for this month, pink being Breast Cancer Awareness Month for the ladies, right? Rocking the pink for the y'all ladies. <laughs> and I also have the gold 1965 K2. Now this is the rarest one of all. And this one's the one that always comes like beat up and everything, but I actually got this. This one, it's got, you can see the little patina marks in there. But this one's actually in really good shape considering I got it from Florida. I paid, this is the rarest one of all. I paid 35 bucks free shipping and from something from Florida amazing but we're not using that today we're actually gonna use the blue one and what inspired me to get this I was watching YouTube Razor Emporium channel and Matt Basarsic was doing this vintage razor series and I wanted one of these a long time ago and I'm like hesitant I'm like ah oh, people are gonna think weird things people are gonna ah oh, dude no ladies right yeah I'm like I was watching his video and one of the things he said was if you're a guy don't be ashamed. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a beautiful razor. And he's right. That's a beautiful vintage razor. So we'll be talking about the blue one today. Total 60s right there. It's got them stars on there. Longest handle Gillette ever made. It's got this barrel on there. And, you know, it's made for a lady for, you know, shaving her legs. But if you're a dude, you can also use, if you guys, if you got to do, if you got a big hand, big fingers and stuff, this would be perfect for you. It's got a super speed head with a long handle and it's blue. You don't have to use a pink one. Nobody's gonna know. You don't do, if you don't do YouTube videos, how's anybody gonna know you got this new shave did? <laughs> but just to compare it so I can show you. Vintage ball tech. That's about how big it actually is. It's a pretty big handle. So we're using the ladies razor today, bro. <laughs> and if you don't like it, tough. <laughs> tough titty. <laughs> Now, the DE blade we're going to be using today is the Bic Chrome Platinum Second Use. So, 
Now, I don't own a super speed. I've never used a super speed, so this is kind of a first time for me. So, I don't know how this is going to go. But, yeah. Now, soap we're going to be using today is... Oh, I got my bowl because I got another new thing. I want to show y'all. Soap we're going to be using today is, since I'm talking about Razor Emporium, Matt Basarsic, Barbershop. That's what we're using today. Small, small batch. Barbershop. Second use. Oh, yeah. Got that. Got that classic uh, barbershop scent. So, stem profile, barbershop. <laughs> you know what it smells like. You know what it smells like. So yeah, now, brush we're going to be using today is from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, and that is 24 millimeter, the Solar Flare Phoenix Shaving with a 24 millimeter Nexus Knot, modeled after the Erskine K, Erskine K-250, vintage goodness. That's what we're rocking today. Told you we're doing some different stuff, huh? Yes, we are. Oh. Like I said, Raisin Porn, man. Y'all know this, right? <laughs> Matt Pistarsic's always wearing that in his videos, right? <laughs> I watch videos, dude. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. So I'm going to try something today that I actually saw Paul H. Films do. And I want to try it out. Get some hot water going had the hot water going now it's like take a little bit starting to cool off here a little bit so it's not too cool but it's still hot here in Arizona come on water let's get this part there we go okay fill the bowl a little bit now I'll try doing something I've seen Paul H. Films doing one of his videos last week, and that is towel. I'm gonna do it. Not like, not. You don't have to do that, but just get some water on there. <laughs> Didn't get here on my own, man. <laughs> inspirations okay let's try that today see if it's see if it works for me I appreciate it. we're gonna be using just got the shower with the cube <laughs> DD top <laughs> Frank beard everybody, everybody in the band had a beard but him he had a mustache but his last name was beard big stars accoutrements old mentally appreciate cube I wonder how this is gonna go I've never used super speed. Now, hopefully, hopefully, yeah, because my phone's saying all, all of a sudden now it's starting to say that I have the storage full. Even though it's only used 14.7 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes, it says the storage is full. I'm like, it's only half used. How's it full? So, my last two videos I actually did. Kind of sucked. Not the, well, not the, what the video suck? No. It was for some freaking odd reason. It was not letting me. You know when you um, upload. All right, let's get this going. Glycerin in a bowl. When you go. Brush heat it up. Boom. When you're upload, well, if you guys upload YouTube videos, you know this. When you push the little, you push the little next button, and then the page will come up, and you'll do your thing, and then you'll have a little message like this. But for some reason, it was not letting me get past the next part. I pushed next, and it wouldn't do anything. Next, 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 next. I tried every single different type of video. I even tried like a five-second video because I thought maybe because the video is too long. Nothing. I'm like. Even took it down to the, because uh, I have Verizon. I took it down to the Verizon store and they couldn't figure it out either. So I'm like, dude, I'm available. I'm, a, I'm ready for an upgrade. So I'm like, man, yeah, I'll see y'all in a couple of days. Because <laughs> this phone's pissing me off. So what happened was my last two videos, 
I actually had to go old school, like old school. What I mean by that is, I think this is kind of thirsty. There we go. What I mean by old school is I would have to record the video and then when I'm getting ready to upload it, okay, I think that's good. I think I would actually get my laptop, hook my phone up to the, hook my phone up to the laptop, right click the video from the phone, drag it to the videos on the desktop, on the laptop, and upload it that way. And the last two videos both took an hour and 12 minutes each. I'm like, well, I'll get a beer. <laughs> if I'm watching TV, babysitting, I'm like an hour and 12 minutes. I'm like, man, time to upgrade the phone because it should not take an hour and 12 minutes, but I had to go old school. I had to re-edit it. And usually when you're doing the YouTube videos, it says how many characters you're using in your title because you get 100. You gotta kind of be tricky to fit it all in and you can't fit it all in sometimes. When you upload it, when you upload it from the computer, it doesn't give you a character count. You gotta count them in your head. Like, PAA, one, two, three, dash, four. That's a pain in the ass. So yeah, we're ready to go. Ah, classic barbershop. <sighs> Ladies razor, huh, bro? <laughs> yeah, dude. Don't care. Like I said, I wanted one a long time ago. And after watching Raisin Emporium Map Star Six video, I was like, man, <laughs> made up. <laughs> Go get one, dude. Who cares? Who cares what people think, man? <laughs> right? Be you. Why? Because everybody else is already taken. Still a little sore from up there a little bit. Last time. Yeah, nice thick leather. Bubble shop. No, not Baba Yaga. Although it is. Almost. <laughs> All right. Gabby, what are you doing? Ladies racer. <laughs> Probably the most manly thing I've done so far, huh? <laughs> All right, let's try something different today. I'm gonna start with the mustache first. Here we go. It's kind of it's pretty mild. Wow. That's a, it's a pretty mild shaver, but it's pretty nice. Yeah, if you guys like a super speed and want a long handle, you get one of these. This is the most, this is the, okay, pass one. Well, technically pass one. This is the most common one is this blue one. And this is the one you're going to find most on like eBay or out antique. Oh, wow. Antiquing or, yeah, blue one. I paid like 20 bucks for this one, I think. Fairly cheap. So if you want to. Check one out. You ain't gonna break the bank. But yeah, it's, that's cool, man. <laughs> like I said, I don't own a super speed, never use a super speed. But yeah, that's so far it's pretty nice. That's a, yeah. <laughs> a little 
little bit more water in that soap, but it won't be as bad as the, uh, <laughs> when I use the Illumis, oh, the Evolution. But, yeah. That's a cool razor, man. What? Chris is liking women's razors. Shut up. <laughs> Drop that macho crap. Think about it, too. Your girl, your lady, your wife, significant other, fiance. Pretty good starter for if uh, you want to get away from cartridge razors, right? Get one of these. Babe, it's a, la it's a lady's razor. That's funny. I actually asked my mom. I showed my mom this because I bought them in. I showed my mom. I was like, Mom, check it out. You ever seen one of these before? And my mom knows I'm deep <laughs> rabbit hole. DE shaving thing. First thing my mom says is, "Yeah, you got a ton of those razors. What you you don't need anymore." I'm like, "That's not what I meant." I'm like, "Mom, check this out. Have you ever seen this kind of razor before?" She's like, "Yeah, you have a bunch of them." No, 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 no. This one, Gillette made this in the '60s just for women. Have you ever used this razor before? And my mom's like, "I've never seen that before ever." I'm like, "Really?" Because my mom's like. My mom used cartridge razors and stuff, so, but I'm like, really, you never saw one of these back when you were a kid? Weird. Here I am, what, 50, 60 years later, on a YouTube channel. Wow, mild shaver, but it's nice. I can see why people like super speeds. <laughs> I could have just lied to y'all. But all you guys out there that know would have been like, we know what that is. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's not a ladies' radar. Hey guys, check this out. DE razor we're going to be using today. Vintage 19, 1972, 1971 R2 super speed with a long handle. Total 60 stuff. There you go. Oh, that's cool. But then. Ladies razor. <laughs> yep. Go get one. <laughs> now, I'm rocking like two or three days worth of girls. I think when was the last I did? I don't remember. Top of my head. So I don't know how this would go with um, longer hair. Like if you had like a longer hair. Not sure how it would go. But I think that would be a pretty good um, um, daily razor. That seems like it's mild enough, but it's not like not mild enough. If that makes sense. I could see someone using that as a daily driver. Jamming out to Nirvana last night, man. Well, not jamming out, just listening to it, man. I freaking miss that band. <laughs> 90s music. I was listening to MTV Unplugged uh, on a plane. Such a good song. Don't stop this off without any words. Where'd I go? I just seen it. No. Yep, gonna be a long video. Huh, never mind. Smells like Teen Spirit. Song that pretty much got me to pick up a guitar and want to be a guitar player. Huh. <laughs> 
And the, the on a plane, it's awesome, this part where he's like, Somewhere I have heard this before. But what the hell am I trying to say? And the bass is all, Yeah, those three or four notes, like, There's no vestelic. It's not time to make it all clear to run off land. Man. Sad, man. Sad. Well, you know, almost 30 years later, I'm still listening to that band. If something's good, what? I like new music. I really don't. <laughs> That's too. Man, this is a nice razor. Wow. <laughs> Don't be ashamed, gents. Which I've actually watched YouTube. I've seen a few you guys. I've seen a few dudes use them. So I'm not the first. It's a nice razor. Wow. <laughs> Can't say nothing like that. I said though, nice. I can see this is a daily driver. <laughs> what are you doing, Abby? Thank you, Matt, for starting second. <laughs> and you have so you can do it up here, you can do it here, and it's cool. One little weeper. Don't cry, you'll be alright, little buddy. Now, like Matt Vassaris was saying about these razors, it's permanent, all aluminum body. It's permanently fixed to the head, though, so it's hard for them to restore. Because once they pay, take them apart, you usually sometimes can't get them back together. But you have one, and you want to, you know, clean it up a little bit, clean the doors, or uh, revamp it a little bit. They can do that for you. So I think we're good today. <laughs> I'm gonna wash up with this and grab right back. Guess who's back? Back again. Chris is back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> I created a monster because nobody won. Not right. <laughs> yeah, one little neck right there, but not bad. So, things are in the Men's 3 inch island block with a blue G.I. Joe mouth slip grip. Just kidding. Knowing is more than half the battle. Someone grew up in the 80s. Yep. Hmm. It's a little raw there. Huh. But yeah, neighbor's awake. Not bad. Oh, nice little shaper.
No shame in my game. Okay. Well, we're good. So, splash we're going to be using today is something's going to match it. And from my state, <laughs> WSP, Wet Shaving Products Barbershop Aftershave. That's what we're rocking today. <laughs> this was a Chandler, C Town, what they call it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not too much burn. I'm using a lot today, I don't care. I feel like it. Okay. The Tega Big Shapes West coming back, number six. Number six. March 28th. Be there or be square. Yeah. Whoa. All right. So, that's it. That's my video, and I'm sticking into it. Sticking, sticking into it, sticking to it. I think I need more coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's warm now. It's not cold, but it's warm. Okay. Recap. <clears throat> Sorry. Excuse me. What we use today? WSP wet shaving products. Barbershop scent. Yeah, it smells amazing. Soap we use today. Yeah, that's still, that's still available, I believe. So is this. Razor Emporium Barbershop Shaving Soap. Classic barbershop scent. Oh. Razor we used today. 1971 Blue Lady Gillette R2. No R2. With a big DE blade, second use. And... Yep, super speed. Long handle super speed. Don't get it twisted. And being sorry, some accoutrements old. I don't say the word old anymore. Mentally depreciated cube. First one. It's not 2.0, but I'm still using it because I'm not going to waste things. But there is a new one available if you want to check it out. It's bigger too, like this one. That's ice cube. Ice cube, mother. So that's it. That's my shape. <laughs> So, hope you ladies and gents have a good day. Hope you ladies and gents have a good week. See y'all soon and flip side, flip mode. All right, I'm going. Got stuff to do today. Take it easy. Bye, guys.